Welcome to the SkyPod 2.0 or the Monterrazas Prime project. This project has been almost two years in the making and I'm happy to say that it has turned out even better than what we imagined. We started off with a minimalist design but Asian inspired pa rin and wala siyang fence. Very open, very welcoming and parang may sense of community just because the house is as open as it is. But again, a very minimal design and not only is it minimal, ang laki ng mga wow factors in all the spaces inside. I'm very very excited to show you around. Meron tayong four car garage here and it goes to a balcony with a fireplace. Mamaya papakita ko sa inyo. Pero this is what greets you the moment you enter the home. Check this out, guys. Look at that view. A 180-degree panoramic view of the city framed by this glass panels right here. That is the south of Cebu. That's SMC side, the new New Star Resort and Hotel. And that is the newly built CC Licks Bridge that we actually featured on this YouTube channel. And that is the Cebu downtown area where you can see all the high-rise buildings right there. So imagine this will be your everyday living space and that is what you get to enjoy. Dito sa living room natin, imagine if kahit sa gabi, you're watching TV, you have that infinity pool right there, and you have that view of the city while you're enjoying your favorite show. I don't know, life doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> So this space up to the kitchen area is fully air-conditioned. Meron tayong bathroom here that actually has a shower for those of you who want to enjoy the pool. Meron tayong mapupuntahan agad-agad. And then you have this open space right here that you can play around with. Right now we place Herman Miller chairs but we've had other people say this would be a perfect area for a wine bar or a small piano na ilalagay dito where they can play piano and enjoy the view. And then ito would be a perfectly sized dining table. You can have it bigger if you want to. Pero this whole house is designed to be very open living, open planning type of design. So you can have your breakfast here. While mommy is cooking breakfast here, she gets to enjoy everything that's happening around the house from the kids playing in the swimming pool, the people watching their favorite shows. And this actually spills over to the outside. So very indoor outdoor living tayo. A few details on the kitchen. This is a quartz countertop. We actually made a video about this na si quartz ang pinaka low maintenance. That's why we chose this. And then you're also enjoying these premium cabinetries from Mobile House naman to. This is how you know that mahal yung cabinet. Pag close mo, oy, myself close. <laughs> Ito ang most expensive parts of the cabinet. Those hardwares right there, these are actually Bloom hardware, so these are pretty high-end. Even our drawers, pag close mo, soft close lahat. So, this is our kitchen area right here. We have a built-in stove and an exhaust fan para diretso na for the people that live here to be able to move in and enjoy the home right away. Ito naman guys. This is our Kenneth and & Mock and pretty expensive Kenneth & Mock sliding doors that open all the way out. So when we had a party here, the opening, yung blessing ng model unit na to, we actually opened this entire space. So nagsispill over lang yung mga tao. And then that's why we also chose the same tiles in and out para magmukhang very wide yung space, very open. And this opens all the way. So imagine enjoying this view. Pwede nga ang pool party mga kids and then dito kayo nag enjoy ng whatever snacks they have. And this is the epitome of indoor-outdoor living. So this area is the balcony area and then you get to enjoy 
that wonderful view, makikita din natin yung all the other houses that we're building. So we're not only building one house here, we're actually building 32 simultaneous houses. So there's going to be that level up here. There's going to be another level down below. And right below is sa atin pa, but we dedicated it as a green and open area just for my balance tayo sa ating environmental impact. And that acts as a water catchment area for those days na medyo malakas yung rain. If you want to learn more about everything that we're doing to minimize the environmental impact, I'll put a link down below. One of my pet peeves when it comes to swimming pools is that paminsan hindi nagagamit. So we actually place this front and center of the house so that even if you're not swimming, parang ginagamit mo pa rin since you're always enjoying it in all the spaces in the main floor. But not only that, if you can see that light right there, it turns red, it turns white, it turns green, yellow, any color that you want so that meron tong mga ambient lighting at night. So that's the main purpose of why this pool is placed right here. This area, nilagay namin dito, kasi this is your garage, diba? And this can be a party area, or this can be a nighttime area na pwede kang tumambay dito. This is a functioning fireplace. So we're thinking na pwede mag s'more si mga bata, or this can be a place where you can have wine, chill ka, enjoy the night view right outside, enjoy the city view. This is the perfect place to unwind and relax during the end of the night. You can see the lights of the city. My favorite is the CC Lex when it lights up at night. So this is a great location for that. But not only that, you are actually facing the sunrise. So makikita mo rin yung sunrise if you're a morning person. This is a place that you can enjoy that as well. Which leads us back to the garage. So ikot ikot lang to guys. This is a four-car garage, so my learning when it comes to building houses is it's better to have more than less when it comes to the garage space. So, ito, nilagyan talaga natin ng four cars. One for the husband, one for the wife, and one for the kid, and one for extra lang, just in case. So, this area, when we had a party here, this area is what we used to do the catering. And then, meron tayong mga tables here, and then spill over all throughout there. So, we were able to handle more than 100 people in this house at the same time, just because of how everything is laid out. But the most important thing, syempre, ayaw naman natin na everyday, dun tayo sa main door dumadaan, di ba? Dito, yung everyday door natin. So, imagine if you're carrying heavy groceries, if you're coming from your car, and then paso ka dito, meron kang dala -dala. You can be able to right away place it here in the kitchen. And that was our thinking for this type of setup. That everything is easy, free flowing. Basically, the thinking of this house is it has to be as minimal, not just in design, but also the effort it takes to live in the house. So this is your main living space, but this is actually a three-story house, and I'll show you those areas in a little bit. Meron la akong konting confession to make is that this is not my favorite time of day to showcase the house. This house during the nighttime transforms into something very different and very moody, and sobrang ganda ng entire space during the nighttime. We spent a lot of details when it comes to how the lights are lit at night. So we're using warm lighting all throughout the house. But not only that, we also even meticulously spent a lot of time choosing the right switches for this house. So this is the Schneider Avatar on a light switches. We like this because it feels like parang alam mong piano. Mukha siyang piano na very reminiscent or very familiar. It kind of feels like those switches na meron tayo sa mga hotel rooms natin. Very snappy, good to click, and satisfying to use. So that's the Schneider Avatar on A. So from the kitchen, we have this staircase that leads up to the second floor area. The second floor area is our quiet and private area. So dito yung mga bedrooms, the family area. So as we go along, we have this beautiful wall that you can put family pictures, and tying railing, and we have lights throughout the staircase. This is especially important, especially during the nighttime. And you can also option in placing a chandelier right there, which also is kind of like framing the view of the city. So for this particular house, 
kita-kita natin si SMC side and the new Star Resort Hotel. So, ito yun. This is the second floor area. We have three good-sized bedrooms. Two would be for the kids, and then one massive master's bedroom right there. But the first thing that you see when you're here is this family area right here. So this is an open area na nilagay lang namin dito. This can be a library. This could be a perfect gym or a kids' play area. But for me, pwede tong study area or you can have a lounge area here at night. So this is a beautiful space for the family to gather and enjoy na medyo private and very much customizable to your liking. And then, now it's time to visit the first bedroom. This is the first bedroom that we get to tour. And uh, turn on ko lang yung lights. Ayan. All the bedrooms of this house has a view of the city. The same view that we have at the bottom. Meron each and every room in this house. But that's not all. This particular bedroom has a view even while you're showering. Hindi pa namin natapos yung partitions here lang. Pero you can actually take a look at the outside where you can have a view of the city while you're showering. Nilagyan natin ng sun baffles just so that hindi dire diretso yung mga kapitbahay mo na nakikita ka. But another option would be to put up planters right outside so makakover to ng plants if you're really not that confident. Tapaka may sisilip. <laughs> so, lahat ng mga showers natin, hindi natin ginagamit yung nakabuilt in sa wall. We wanted those that are outside of the wall. The reason for that is mas madali to repair just in case something goes wrong. So this is a deliberate choice. So for the flooring naman, we are using Pergo. These are very much maintenance-free type of wood laminate. This is the exact brand that I'm using for my own home. And this is a high-end brand that we're using all throughout the second floor. Okay, time to view the second bedroom naman. This is the second bedroom and it's pretty much the same as the first bedroom that we visited. It has a standard bathroom lang. And then, meron din siyang view of the entire Cebu City skyline. This is actually a perfectly good size bedroom. Meron siyang study area. You can have a TV on this side. And then, meron na rin siyang built-in closets. So, again with the closets, soft close. <laughs> Pinagmamayabang ang soft close. <laughs> so, from the second bedroom, we now come to the master's bedroom. The master bedroom is just about the same size as the master bedroom in our own house. And this is what it looks like. We still have the same Pergo wood laminate. We even have this marble right here from EuroAsia. If this looks familiar, this is the same type of marble that I'm using in my own house. And this is about 40 square meters big. So, meron tayong cove lighting all over the place. Even the window right there, meron siyang mga louvers na makikita natin. So, the best part about this is the view pa rin. This opens up to a wonderful, wonderful view of the city. So imagine, at night, hindi ka na magsara ng curtains, makikita mo to, you're enjoying that before you take a rest. So when it comes to the design of the house, maganda yung maganda tingnan, pero importante, since we're going to be living in a house, kailangan yung use case ng bahay. Maganda rin. So with these switches, what we did is, you can control it from here, you can turn off everything, from the main area, just like normal. But we also placed another area right there wherein you can control the entire lighting of the room. So this is still the avatar on A that I was talking about from Schneider. This is such a wonderful use case. We're able to control the lights, kagaya ng hotel, na hindi na tayo kailangan tumayo to switch off the lights right before we sleep. So we placed it right here. Ito yung hindi namin nilagay sa bahay namin eh. <laughs> Pero, meron ka ng outlet. This is also from Snyder. We also have outlets and other provisions that you would need for your own comfort. 
So, yan. Napag-isipan na yan. Unlike our home. As nice as the master bedroom is, hindi ko to yung favorite part of the master bedroom. My favorite part is the closet and the bathroom. So the moment you enter this bathroom, you are greeted with this view and this bathtub. Facing again the view of the city. So ang ganda lang ng house na to is most houses with a view tend to be narrow. With this one, we were able to make it as wide and as shallow as possible. That's why we are able to make a lot of spaces with a view. So this one is a perfect example for that. So you can have your nighttime baths here. Meron pa rin tayong buffer here na nilalagay just so that hindi masyadong direct na you feel like you're exposed to the world. So that's our thing right there. And then we're greeted with these two sinks right here para his and her style. But not only that, check this out. This is the makeup area. Walk-in closet, his and hers, makeup area. So this is also touchscreen dito. So yung mirror natin lights up whenever si Macy's like my makeup or just a vanity area. This would be the perfect space for that. So if you notice, the entire bathroom area is bathed in soft light. We have a lot of cutouts everywhere. Meron tayo dito, meron dyan, meron pang sa likod. Just so that when you wake up in the morning, feel refreshed ka na agad with this type of lighting. So all the second floor balconies of this house are connected. You just have to open the sliding door. This is from a company called Bradfield, by the way. And these are rated for typhoons. We're happy with them because they actually submitted yung mga typhoon ratings of all these panels. So, dito sa Cebu, we experienced typhoon Odette. Eto, I'm fairly confident that this will be able to take the brunt of a super typhoon. But not only that, this is what you get to enjoy right outside your bedroom. These second floor balconies are connected all the way. So, pwede akong bumisita sa anak ko dito or my brother right down the hall. Siyempre, if you don't want to connect everything, there's always a means to that. We can place in planters right here or dividers na soft dividers right along the bedrooms. So, ito yung layout of the second floor space. The main reason why we did a balcony here, pwede naman hindi namin lagyan ng balcony, the main reason is it's very hard to clean the outside glass if walang balcony dito. That's why nilagyan namin dito so you can clean this side, you can clean this area also without having to put up huge ladders or scaffolds just to be able to reach these panels right here on the second floor. Okay, so tapos na tayo dito sa second floor and I mentioned kanina that this is a three-story house. So meron pang one more floor right down below the main floor. So, come with me. Pag baba mo pa lang, kita mo na yung view. So, right behind the kitchen again, umiikot tayo going down to the basement area. And this is what it looks like. So, the basement area, if you see, is an open area wherein the future owners of this house can build it to their exact liking. A walk-in closet, a man cave, a gym, a place to have all your storage that you would need for your home. But that's not all. And dito rin yung ating, hindi pa to tapos guys, may pintuan pa to. But this is what makes the house tick. This is our electricals. This one, meron no suggestion for you guys. We are actually using Schneider Electric pa rin for our electric panel. And ito yung suggestion ko for anyone looking to build a home. Make sure everything is labeled so that you would know which areas are affected whenever you turn on and turn off these breakers right here. It makes a whole lot of sense for the people that will work on your home in the future or in case you're doing a few renovations. But, meron pa tayo more areas. Ito is our service area and it's very, very much enjoying the view also. Sobrang maaliwalas because the wind can come in and out and this is a bathroom right here and two separate quarters for whoever will be living here in the future. 
Meron pa tayong place for a dirty kitchen, a sink. Meron ding place for a mop sink, for anything else that needs to be washed. But if you notice, and dito yung mga air condensing unit natin, dito natin nilalagay. For most houses, this is kind of like an afterthought, especially when it comes to a minimalist house. Kailangan natin hanapan ng place to actually hide these units. And paminsan nakakalimutan kasi to. So, uh, this is a very good decision by our architects, LLG architects, for putting this and hiding this out of plain sight. So, nandito siya lahat. Meron din tong siyang provision for mga generators. So, basically, this house is ready to move in na talaga. But the beauty of this house is parang paikot-ikot lang to. Pwede tayong dumaan dito. We go up. And you're back to the garage area. So, these set of staircase right here is perfect to service the service area. But not only that, you can lock out the entire house and magagamit pa rin yung lower level of the house. Meron pa tayong kinoconstruct dito ng konti. We just wanted to think of almost everything that we could. So with this, we placed an area for your trash segregation na. So you don't have like garbage along the side of the road in front of your house. Dito na siya nakatago. So we're still building this out and um, it will look very, very clean when it's done. So that's it guys, I'll put a link down below to this entire development, what we're up to. If you want to look at the plans, you want to look at renders of this house, I'll put a link to Monterrazos Prime down below. This has been a passion project from the very start and it feels very fulfilling to see it realized. Talaga. So I hope you like this tour and I'll see you later.